Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I have done another Valentine's gift. So I know I've done my Valentine's series, but I had this idea and I thought I'm gonna throw in another one. So this is this lovely little um, packet, I guess. And basically you open it up with a Velcro dot and then it reveals these two Hershey chocolate bars. And the dark chocolate, my husband loves dark chocolate, so it's just another little gift for him. Really, really nice design, I love this. Um, and it just seals shut there. I've done this very shabby chic, so I've used craft card, I've distressed all the corners and the edges, I've distressed the paper I use, so I've, I've rubbed the brown um, ink all over it, and you can see on all the corners there, and how it looks on the side. And it's just a really lovely little gift. These would look great as little favours. When I say little, it's actually quite a good size. This one is five and a half by two and a half. So it's a good size. So again, opens up and it reveals two little pockets here. So the Hershey chocolate bars, these measure, if you push in the, the kind of wings on each size, side, they're five by just under two and a half. Now the width of the actual case that I've got them in is a little bit thicker, so it's three eighths of an inch. This should fit lots of chocolate bars, so dairy milk chocolate bars, um, I can't sit here and think of them all now, but you know what I mean. It should fit a lot in there. So I'm hoping that this will be kind of open for many people to use other branded um, chocolate bars from other parts of the world. So again, and then the top bottom one just folds up and then that just seals shut. So to make this one, I'm gonna be using black and red this time. So I've got these Oreo ones, which I used when I made the acetate explosion boxes and I ate them all, they're amazing. I love these ones. Um, okay, so enough of the food talk. You need a sheet of seven and one eighth of an inch by eight and a quarter. So it's a default width size of A4 paper. Um, so those of you with eight and a half, all you have to do is just take it down to eight and a quarter and then shrink it all down, like I said, to seven and one eighth of an inch. Then you need two little pieces here which will form our little pockets. These are two by five and a half, two of those. And then you need two pieces of this side, size, because I've already stuck one down here. And this is one and one eighth of an inch by five and a quarter. And then another piece, which will be this main bit here on the front. So this is five and a quarter by two and one eighth of an inch. This piece is for here, that's why I've already corner punched it. That's one inch by five and a quarter. And then something to make your kind of um, seal, I guess, you know, your, your decoration on the front. So I've just die cut a heart there and I'm gonna do exactly the same, but just in different colors. And this is the Sizzix um, tribal uh, words dies, which I've used quite a lot and that's gonna stick there. I've cut them three times, layered them on top of each other like I always do. It just gives you a nice little embellishment there. Okay. So, first of all, grab your piece of eight and a quarter, and you want to score along the, sorry, eight and a quarter by seven and one eighth. Score along the eight and a quarter inch side first at one inch, one and three eighths of an inch, six and seven eighths of an inch, and seven and a quarter, okay? Then rotate it onto the seven and one eighth of an inch side, and you want to score at two and a quarter, two and five eighths of an inch, three inches, five and a quarter, and six. Okay, that's all the scoring done there. And then with these two pieces of the black, you want to score at a quarter of an inch, and one, uh, no sorry, quarter of an inch and five eighths of an inch. And that's along the two inch side. Do that on both pieces, I've already done this one. So again, along the two inch side, you're gonna score at quarter of an inch and five eighths of an inch. Okay. So, get rid of the scoreboard. And uh, we can do some burnishing. So I'm just gonna do these ones first. So I'll just pinch these so just along those two long score lines like so okay and then with this one here so I'll do those ones first okay so that's all that done then we need to cut some bits and pieces out. So, you will have 
show you here. You'll have these two large rectangles and then the smaller one at the top. Okay? And then you'll have this kind of little rectangle here with the, the two kind of smaller rectangles together. Just make sure you got it the right way out there, you, go, you can see it. So you've got this big rectangle here and then this other big rectangle. You want that facing you, you want this piece here with the smaller one away from you. Okay, so first of all what we're going to do is you've got the two edged rectangles here, this one and this one, and then you've got two of those smaller ones above. That's where we want to cut in, above that. So those I'm going to cut right across, let me just do this and then I can show you. So can you see there, so I've cut in, so it's the first score line as you come up this side, cut right across past that first one into that second one there, and then miss that one, and then you're cutting along that top one again to the same place. And then I'm just going to fold those two sides down and just take that whole piece out. Okay, so that's what I've taken out. So you can see the two score lines in this piece here. It's that whole piece. So again, if I come along this side here, can you see we're removing this whole piece here. So again, if I just cut down like so. And again, just remove that whole piece. Okay, so that's what you want. That okay, then go up to the next piece, and again, you want to keep that whole rectangle here. We're keeping them all there, and then we're going to cut in again the score line directly above, right the way across. And if I do this side as well at the same time, okay, so I've just cut right the way in, okay, and then I'm going to remove that whole piece. So again, let me just do this one as well, and then you can see what we've got. Just remove all those pieces. So you should have, if I bring it down here now, you've got the two biggest side rectangles and then those thinner kind of side pieces there. Your big rectangle, then two smaller long rectangles, another big rectangle, and then that one, and then the top. Okay. Right, then what you want to do is cut from the bottom far right hand corner here, of the very outer part, I'm going to cut up to this top piece here. Let me get my focus. There we go. Okay, so I've just cut from the bottom right up to here, not across to here, it's just to the top of the actual rectangle itself. You need to keep that tab intact. So if I repeat again on this one here, I don't want to cut that underneath, I just fold it in, there we go. Okay, so that's that piece, so I'm cutting from the corner up, like so. So again I go across to this side here, just to show you, you can see there, bottom left corner, like so. And again, like so. All right, so what you should have now is that shape. Okay, then what you want to do is flip it over because this is the inside. And with these two tabs that we've done here, the bottom one, you want to apply some glue all the way along. Okay, and then you've got that big rectangle, the bottom of the rectangle, that score line, is where you want to stick that piece in. So let me just put it in and then you can see. Like so. Because this is basically the pocket. So. All right. so I've just stuck it inside so it is lined up with the bottom score line. You don't want to stick it on these two here, they still have to be visible, okay? So basically you stuck it within the rectangle, okay? So again, the bottom one, grab your other one, run your glue along that tab, 
okay and then line it up with the very bottom of that piece of card so the tab stuck inside the rectangle and making sure it's not gone over there and then fold the whole thing over on itself just to make sure you've got a nice straight line because so that's obviously the bottom of your box as well what you've just basically stuck in there okay so there you will have two little pockets okay so what we're going to do now is these bits are going to come in like so and this is going to stick on top of them now if you wanted to there's no reason why they can't go on the outside so if you do like that effect just stick them stick a bit of glue there and stick them on the outside just make sure that that bottom piece is nice and flush and straight with the base of the box there I would want I want mine inside so that's why I'm going to stick with what I've done there so you can either put glue put a pencil mark to where that this piece here comes to the top and then you can just glue below that I'm just going to stick my finger there and then just splodge some glue like so I should better do it on this side as well at the same time I mean it's only holding a little bit of chocolate so you don't need to go too crazy with that kind of thing with the glues and stuff so again just pop your finger underneath just so you can obviously something to push down on and again that one and just make sure that you get a lovely right angle and all your corners and then you can grab a ruler stick the ruler in and kind of push it towards you so push the ruler up just again so you can just to get a bit of of a, of a platform to be able to push down on okay and now you've got a little pocket okay so again just repeat the same with that top piece okay then you can start decorating it so I've already done that one there so that's with those two pieces that are the same so just stick that other one down okay just give yourself a nice even border always cut them so it should give you a nice little one eighth of an inch border like so then that piece the bottom one is obviously going to fold up on top like so and then that piece will go here because that's the front of your box I think I needed to bring that one in a little bit more which I will doctor in a minute so. okay and again just stick that one down there so okay so that's that all stuck and then I've got this end piece here which again I'm just gonna round off the corners there because I forgot to do them before just so it matches the card um, the, this piece here that I already done I still haven't replaced this it's not quite it seems to do one and then it doesn't do the next one okay so this is going to go on the front to the outer side like so and again it should give you a nice border although that looks a little bit too long so I'm just gonna trim a little bit off like so that's better and then I'll just do those corners again Again, just pop some glue on that. Okay, so now you should have the two pieces stuck there. Fold that up, then stick that down. You want to make sure it faces the right way up, and then that piece, as it comes down over the top, will have that pattern on it. Okay, so. I've got some Velcro dots here, you could use magnets if you want, and these are also black so they match. So I'm going to bring it all, actually, put the chocolate in first because that will obviously give it some strength and keep it all in its shape. Like so, put the ones in the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to fold that one up. Yeah, it makes it much, much easier to actually work with. Like so, grab... there make sure it's all in nicely so line it up in the center of the lid and then bring that over and then you can push down on the chocolate make sure that's all stuck down and there you have 
your little closure. And then all I need to do is decorate it. So I'm going to stick my love through the middle there. So I just need to put a little bit of glue on the actual word love. Just so have that at an angle. Like so, and then I'm just going to put some glue on the top half of the heart because it's going to be hanging over that lid. So again, like so, make sure it's in the middle. Possibly, oh no, I did put exactly the right amount on. I thought I might have had some glue coming over there. So just pinch that just so it's nice and secure. And there you have it, so there you go. That just focuses in a bit, there we go. Isn't that cute? Really lovely. So now that will open up and it folds down to show our chocolate bars. So I love those. Lovely little chocolate pockets. So I hope you enjoyed this extra little Valentine's um, tutorial from me today. Um, please hit the like button if you did and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.